Hello and welcome to Foodie Corner. Today I will be showing how to make a tangy sweet and sour tomato chutney. To make this tomato chutney we would require 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of heing that is asafoetida, lots of curry leaves, 2 to 3 green chilies split in the middle, 1 medium size onion chopped, um, 1 tablespoon of garlic chopped and 1 tablespoon of ginger chopped. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon chilli powder, 1 tablespoon of tamarind juice. We can get this tamarind juice by soaking some tamarind in a little water. 1 tablespoon of uh, jaggery, grated jaggery and salt to taste. 5 tomatoes chopped. Now we will start making this tomato chutney. Let us first heat the oil. This hot oil let us add mustard seeds, cumin seeds. Let us flutter nicely. Then we will add hing. curry leaves green chili chopped garlic ginger chopped Let's mix it. Now let's add the onion. Mix well and fry it till the onion turns a little golden brown. Let's increase the heat a little bit. The onions have turned a little brown in color now. Let's uh, add the rest of the powders that is the turmeric powder. And chili powder. Let's mix this well. And now we will add the tomatoes. Let's fry the tomatoes on high flame for some time. After frying the tomatoes on high flame for around 2 minutes, let's add around half a cup of water to this. Again on high flame, let the water boil. Once it starts boiling nicely, let's cook the tomatoes in low flame for around 20 minutes. Now lower the flame, close the lid and let it simmer for around 20 minutes. Let's add salt. Mix it well, mash the tomatoes nicely so that it becomes really really soft. Now close the lid and continue to cook on low flame. It's almost 20 minutes now. The tomatoes seem to have become really soft. 
Now let's add the tamarind juice and the jaggery. Now on high flame, let's mix this nicely. Let's cook this again for around 10 more minutes. All the flavors seems to have been soaked nicely into the chutney. We can cook this for a longer duration. The more we cook, the more the flavors will be soaked into the tomato chutney. Our chutney is ready. Let's now close the flame and transfer the chutney into a serving bowl. Tangy tomato chutney is now ready to be served. This chutney goes well with idli, doshas, rotis and also with hot rice. Do try this simple yummy chutney. Thank you.